What's up guys, it's Ralph with Pondscapes coming at you with another beautiful install. This is gonna be right in this front yard. This is gonna be a piece of cake. And I don't wanna use those words too quick. So let's go see what Alex is doing and uh, get moving. All right guys, so I'm gonna walk you through this project. I am actually pretty excited about this one. This is gonna be a little bit different than what we normally do. When the this homeowner, she sent me the picture of a fountain piece that she already has. Uh, she had her eye on this fountain piece and she finally got it at a, at a reasonable price, but it's this beautiful bronze statue. So check this out. Now, the only fountain portion of this is right here this garden hose the little boy's drinking out of the dog with his tongue out so water's going to gently come out of that and what we've got to do is get a hose or a pipe connection to fit on right there and we want to make sure that it looks uh like it belongs there or doesn't stand out too much then also what we're going to do on this is do a couple of basalt columns and some rock work and uh, some lighting. So some of the hurdles that we have with this project is that that bronze statue is sitting right over there and it is heavy. That is too heavy to manpower over. So we do have our excavator. We're gonna be able to back up our trailer right next to the excavation and uh, dig away and load right into the trailer. So it's gonna be a fairly easy excavation as long as we don't run into any obstacles underground. We will get in here and excavate very gently. We don't want to run into anything that is going to cause major damage to the property or ourselves. Right, Alex? It's a very expensive mistake. That's right. So Alex, you just got back from vacation. No, I didn't. Glad to have you back. And uh, I'm a little concerned. A... You're already just sitting around on the job. This is my vacation. <laughs> Going home to my family is work. <laughs> I love my job. All right, guys. So here are a couple of the basalt or pagoda stones that uh, we're going to use. These are going to kind of frame the outer edges of the uh, the statue and we'll have water bubbling up out of the stones they'll fall down that face and then we'll have some lights shining up illuminating those columns so that is going to be really cool accent pieces uh, to uh, frame that statue All right, so now that we've got the excavation complete and all the spoils hauled away, we got a load of quarter minus. Now what Alex is doing in the bottom of that excavation is getting that fine tuned. He just shaded the bottom of this excavation just to get a, a cushion of clean material down there. And now he's working that level back and forth and getting a nice level base. And then of course we will drop in our fabric and then that liner will go down and uh, we'll be able to get to uh, setting that fountain piece. Okay, so we've got our usual liner sandwich with our fabric, our liner, our fabric. Alex, is this your favorite part about installing a feature? Every part's my favorite part. You know what my favorite part is? My favorite part is when you grab a liner that's been sitting in the uh, July sun <laughs> with no gloves on. <laughs> you, you ever <laughs> you ever heard of James Brown? <laughs> ha! Too hot! All right, guys, so we've got our Aquablox grid tight and compacted around the perimeter with clean quarter minus. Uh, so now what we got to do is reach over there and pick up that 
bronze statue and bring it over, get it into position. So as long as we can finagle this guy in there without breaking anything and getting back, I think we'll call it a successful day. Alex, did you pass not tying class? I was a Boy Scout. I was a boy scout. <laughs> you, a man scout. <laughs> you're not paid to do this anymore. You're being paid, so hope it's right. Your hands right. <laughs> All right, here we are, morning number two, and uh, we've got everything situated in place. And before we go any further, I do want to uh, set a reminder out there. Whenever we're doing a, uh, a feature, especially in a front yard, what we want to do is call 811 uh, for ground locating service. So you see the flags and paint uh, behind me. That is a free service that they come out and locate any gas lines, utilities, water, fiber optic cables, power, that type of thing. So a lot of this stuff is uh, going to be, uh, you know, three feet or more, but, you know, somebody could have uh, had an early day and didn't want to trench so deep and then we run into it. But not to worry, this situation, everything that we dug is about uh, five feet outside of it. So, we're going to continue on. All right, so you can see the way we left things yesterday is uh, we've got the statue oriented just the way we want it, and then the basalt columns uh, just how the uh, homeowner wants it. So this is uh, where the homeowners will pull up and turn right into their driveway. So we wanted that kind of facing out this way. And then over here on our boy and the dog statue, we're going to use this hose which matches up pretty perfectly and we'll just kind of curl that and it'll run right up and connect to that point right there um, so it'd be a pretty seamless and looks like it belongs and not really stand out like a sore thumb we didn't want to have like a, a green hose or something like that i wanted something that's going to blend very well with that. situations i mean we get year after year we get this heat but man oh man this this job was hot and all we did was dig a basin right here and uh you know just use some of the existing boulders brought in three more but this job was a, a killer so let me show you what uh we got going on and what we got to do to finish up and uh we're that close all right so you can see that we've got our easy up shade structure out on this because it is hot one and we've got our fan over there and of course the tunes now what alex is uh, doing right now is wiring up our lights we've got six little one watt spotlights on this feature brandon is uh, tidying up the backside. we're going to put in some more gravel and then let me show you this vault so right over here we have our float valve is set up then we've got a ball valve manifold so that is independently controlling each one of our fountain effects now what we've got left to do is just add some more gravel cover up our basin and tidy things up and we are calling this one a wrap alex is that little boy sharing his water with you he, he can't he's not real ralph I need to get you to a mental hospital <laughs> sooner rather than later. I have to tell you so many times it got real. I'm a real boy. He's real to me. All right, guys, so that is it. We got that little boy statue dug out from the bushes over there and put in place. And then, of course, we've got a couple of the basalt columns framing it. So let's take a closer look. All right, so now for a few years, this beautiful statue was just hiding over there in the bushes 
and uh, now it is being displayed right out in the front of the yard. So uh, later to come is some more landscaping and things like that, but I just love the way this turned out with the framing basalt columns. That looks fantastic. This hose just fits in so well with the uh, color of the bronze statues. That is uh, just gonna look fantastic at night because we've got behind this rock, three one watt LED spotlights shining that way. And if you look right there, you can see one. We've got two more hiding. Those will be shining up and illuminating that statue and those basalt columns. So this is a really cool front entry piece. And I was very excited to be able to work with this because that is something we don't do very often. I think that just turned out awesome. All right, so let me know what you guys thought about this feature, how it turned out, and how cool is this little statue. So if you've got a statue that is not doing what it should be doing, like bringing you joy in this front yard, let us know, give us a call, and we'll be glad to come out and help you out with that. Everybody have a good one. We'll see you on the next video.